nothing that makes me happy like when I try something new and it comes out so perfect. The only part that I don't like when cooking is chopping onions. I don't like it at all because oh, I cry a lot. Hi, how are you? My name is Queen Munira. You can call me Munira. So today I want us to try something new. It's my first time to try it out and I hope it's going to be successful. So I just want to know who said that the only samosas you can eat are beef samosas, chicken samosas, green gram samosas, minji samosas. And by the way, how do you eat potato samosas? Honestly, like you just want to eat potato samosas. But anyway, we all have different cravings and we all have different preferences and of course i cannot crucify you because i know there are some people who don't do beef and actually there are people who don't do animal products and those are the only things they can eat like green grams samosas or vegetable samosas so today i want us to try a uh, saucy minced samosa you know i've been thinking like if we can make pilau using saucy chunks why can't we try saucy minced samosas so with me, I have a saucy minced and I want to make some samosas and I hope they're going to be nice. Join me in my kitchen. Let's enjoy cooking together. If you're new here, please subscribe, hit that like button and make sure you put on your notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will be the first one to be notified. Enjoy watching guys and let's hit straight to the video. Here are the things we need to make our samosas a bowl, cooking oil, I'm using warm water also all purpose baking flour we need sugar we need salt for now to make our dough these are the things that we need we don't need to make a big dough so I'm using this small bowl to measure my uh, flour For about 15 to 20 minutes in the meantime let me prepare the saucy minced we'll mix the spring and bulb onions this is my style you can add any other that you feel is good for you so for me i'm using the spring and uh, bulb onions i know some people also use red green and yellow bell pepper but for me i'm not using them i'm just using the onions only and of course i'll add some other spices before i forget please don't add salt to saucy it already has salt so if you add you'll spoil everything i'm not uh, soaking it in hot water first as per the instructions on the package 
because we don't want our sauce to be soggy remember we are making samosas and that's why i'm frying them direct then adding water later just to make them a bit soft not to be too crunchy and not to be too soggy keep frying and let them cook slowly if you feel like the water is not enough you can add a little bit but not a lot don't make soup <music> spices of your choice i'm using garam masala uh, curry powder and roiko our dough it's ready and we'll make some small balls equal sizes of course then roll them again into a nice circles the shapes are not so perfect but i'll show you later on what to do to make them so perfect so i'll add some oil on top sprinkle some flour and layer them one on top of the other before frying them <music> I realized with the spoon I was doing a bit slowly and that's why I've switched to using my hands to stock the pockets and as we, as you can see we are almost done the process the next thing that is remaining is just to deep fry them in hot oil <music> Guys, I know I'm not supposed to use this uh, spatula, but you know what? You just use what's available. Moment of truth! Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for your one and only saucy samosas. Yay! We did it! For the first time, I've never tried this kind of a recipe and 
I am so proud of myself. It turned out really nice and it's so yummy. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.